Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me For On YouTube channel. What's up, guys? Today we're up in Georgia to pick up the engine for Eagle. Very exciting engine. Most expensive engine we've ever bought. Yes. And also, probably the baddest engine here. That's yeah, probably the highest horsepower engine we've ever had. You know, recently I bought a Chrysler 300. You saw in the three thousand dollar car challenge. I said, "Brother, I'm a Hemi brother." That's right. I said, "I need a Hemi for Eagle." We've had the big blocks. We've had the LS, the small blocks, and the only thing left is a Hemi. Is a Hemi. We've had it all. And when it comes to Hemis, if you're in the racing world, you've probably heard of Pro Line Racing. So we're up here today to pick up and see for the first time a Hemi for <laughs> the Eagle which we're really excited about. I mean, we're... <laughs> a lot of shiny parts on this one. These are the Hemi brothers. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so we're up here to see the baddest Hemi you can get as far as I know, and uh, just fire it up. I can't believe we're getting a Pro-Line Hemi. I remember talking about these dudes yeah. years ago. This is this is it, this is top of line stuff. Yeah, when you're at a Pro Mod race, probably half the engines in the pits yeah. are Pro-Line Hemis. I mean, this, these are the guys to go to, so yeah. let's go check it out. Hold on, is it locked? Hold on. You I'm always. Not, I'm not going in there with dirty shoes. No, never. Last thing I need is a speck in my engine, you know? Exactly. How's it going? Oh, wow. I saw you putting your shoes. Oh, yeah, oh, I oh. my shoes on. All right, we got Eric from Proline. What's going on? What's up, man? What's, how'd you get all these? Well, uh, not a sucker. Cool. That's a lot. A great group of people. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's not going to be some good engines. <laughs> yeah. See, this is the type of place you want to get your engine. Exactly. Walk in. Wall full of wall. <laughs> Damn, that's a collection right there. Yeah, that's yeah. nice. Cool. We need to work on our trophy <laughs> wall, guys. All right. <laughs> cool. Are we going to get the grand tour? Let's go. Well, that's why we're here to work on our trophy wall. Yeah. That's why we're here. We're trying to, we're trying to help out our trophy wall. Mr. Carey, the parts man, you'll be talking to him. What's up, man? How are you? I hope I don't have to call you. How are you Nice to meet you. All right. Oh wow, this is a wow, lot of machines are out here. Wow. Big place. Look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, it's yours. Oh, this is your wall right here? That's yours. Is this hey, our intake? your intake, bud. This, oh, this is ours? Holy smokes. What in the fuel world? world? Holy what? smokes. How big is this fuel rail? <laughs> Dude, look, oh, this thing's got an H. Bro, yeah. over the top. Yeah, what the hell is that? <laughs> you have to brace the billet intake? So, as soon as they catch it, if you backfire it, that your front end is still intact and you don't have to make a new one. Ooh, wow. Nice. How much boost is this intake rated for? I mean, we I think we've made up to 80, 85 pounds so far. So, yeah, that, that's where we'll start. Yeah. That's where we'll start. <laughs> Baseline tune up, 85. <laughs> Damn. Dude. Yeah. Oh, that is clean, brother. That's an intake. Hemi brothers. I can feel it already. Let me see. Goodness what's what's a Hemi port look like? Girl. Look at that port. I mean, can we talk about Dude, the fuel rail size here? here? Yeah. I mean, 16. Oh, my gosh. That's the size Dash of our 16. water lines on cars yep. right now. Dash 16 <laughs> AN fuel rail. Look Good jolly. The intake is too much already. Oh, these are rockers right here? Our push rods? Oh, my gosh. Dude. What about Damn. <laughs> what the hell? That's how big your fuel line is now. <laughs> this is my fuel line on my race car now. Golly. Holy God. crap, dude. That thing's huge, man. Copper head gaskets. Oh, yeah, nice copper head gaskets. Whoa. Look at that unit. Holy unit. smokes. Good golly. All right, give us a rundown on what we bought here because we got, we got turbos and we asked for a Hemi. What are we getting? You're getting a 564 cubic inch of ProLine's latest stuff we got going on. So I think I think you're going to have um, probably a little bit more than you need, but okay. it's going to be fun to watch. Okay. <laughs> um, at this point, this is the best stuff we have. So it's it's um, MH7. MH7 is a four and a half inch stroke, 564 cubic inch motor that um, you can about do anything you want with it. Okay. So, um, <laughs> Really, because I've been known to be able to break an anvil with a water hose. Yeah, so. I, it, I can see it. With what you've talked about doing with this combo, it's going to be fun. It's going to be yeah. fun to watch. Yeah, I think so. All right. Wait, one more question. We consider ourselves the Hemi Brothers. Would you say you are a Hemi Brother? Yes. Well, for sure. I knew it. That's right. <laughs> I had that feeling. A lot, a lot of Hemi Brothers. A lot of Hemi Brothers here. Uh, I guess today we get to maybe assemble a little bit of the engine. Or... Yeah, Yeah, it's on y'all. We, got a, we really? got a short block waiting for a top end. 
No so, way. Yeah. All right, that's very exciting. Ooh, we'll check it we'll out. see what the ability you guys have. That way, it's not, then we don't <laughs> have to be liable, right? You're putting the top yeah, end on. Yeah, if I build it, then it's not yeah. your fault. Well, I don't know. You yeah. still chaperone, you know? Yeah, yeah, we need some guidance. A little kid lights the amusement park on fire. The chaperone's responsible. Okay, so it's a... Is that this the one, Doug? What's that? This the one? That's, That's it. it. That's the engine. Oh, oh my god. My gosh. Goodness, Goodness gracious. Get, get pictures of it now because uh, we tear it up and ain't never looked this good again. No, no we are one. not tearing this up. <laughs> he doesn't sound like he's kidding. Wow. <laughs> That's some of the most brand beautiful new. Brand new. metal I've ever seen. Yeah, George can't built. even speak a word. I'm, 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 I'm speechless. Look at the size it. of these lifter boards. I don't know, and you can replace them. Bro. I mean, they even lightened the block up right there, like took the material. Yeah. What's yeah. not built on? The balcony? <laughs> Jolly. That's All right, a piece dude. of equipment right there. Let How much is the front of it? With their short block. The block's like 138, 40 pounds. I bet, I bet the short block's around 300, wow. 350. Damn. That's an engine right there, brother. All right, so I guess we just got a couple yeah, more things thing together. to put together on this thing. They're going to let us do it, which I think is That's gonna be awesome. It's pretty risky. Hands-on experience by the professionals. Before yeah, we get you got to really get a good feel for it. I got it right here, brother. Kissing it <laughs> George, be careful with that, buddy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Jeez! So it's got GRP rods, the pistons, we put a big dish in it because we knew you are going to be mean to it. So really? we try to put, take enough of compression away to keep you out of trouble. Really? Um, yeah, <laughs> Smart. that was the plan. Smart. As you see, billet crank, billet rods, billet pistons, it's got all the right stuff. So <laughs> Everything uh, is billet. Yeah, everything everything is, billet. is billet. At what so, point did you guys go from cast stuff to just everything billet? I mean, when did this transition happen? Back about 2011. Um, everything. Yeah, everything. We, we, we kind of got introduced to the 41X by helping somebody with a car that ended up having a billet engine in it and we learned how much more abuse they take and yeah. like, oh, that was great so wow. we went that direction damn so, so yeah they've been billet ever since okay hell yeah and the head's obviously billet yep heads billet manifolds billet valve Definitely. covers valve billet covers. <laughs> yeah <laughs> there's only a few fabricated pieces oh, on yeah, like, right the whole thing the like, heads back here oh, cool. oh this is these things are heat. i mean they're big but they're not like crazy these are the right ones can i yeah, pull them out i mean they're pretty big <laughs> Damn. Look at that, Jackson. Pick that baby yeah, up. It's, 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 it's big. Why? You only had wider than a coyote. It's like two LS. Look at the port on it. It's I know. It Open the back. Don't scratch it. Don't scratch it, Jackson. <laughs> we can't afford to take a single scratch on this thing. Oh, damn it. Where does Hemi in I start shaking when I see a Hemi. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the port. You can put your whole fist in that thing. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, no, we already messed up our other There we go. Goodness gracious. What do you think about that, Mr. Samuel? She is hemispherical. I mean, that, that's your thing. Is that hemispherical right there? Oh, yeah. That, that is hemispherical. Sure. That's a hemi. That's a true <laughs> hemispherical head. <laughs> that's a hemispherical head. The exhaust port. Wow. The yeah, exhaust the ports are just <laughs> absolutely <laughs> incredible. Nuts. So sick. So, uh,. Where do spark plugs go through on this? Yeah. Flip the top, man. That's gonna be nice. Oh, dang! Dude, that's gonna be so easy to swap plugs. What in the world? These are some things I ain't ever seen before. Yeah, wow. Look at the wire on it. <laughs> studs are That's bad just bad. for your rocker. That's insane. These are bigger than the, the head studs on our LS. <laughs> For the Brockers. I mean, goodness. So I guess they're going to let us put these heads on the short block and torque them down ourselves, which is, I told them, risky. Very risky. But I'm definitely down to do that. Step number one. Wash those hands. James and Zach, you better get out here and wash those hands, shave your arms, get some gloves, and let's go. No, come wash them. Sterilize. Come on, guys. I told them they need to wash them up. I'm ready. Shave their arms. <laughs> There's our car going. Still in there, soaking dude. wet. <laughs> yeah, get your arms shaved. <laughs> right I don't want a hair in that engine. <laughs> James likes to always have a fragrance on his hands. So yeah. Right oh, he's mixing it Antibacterial. up. Antibacterial. This rack right here is things I dream of in our shop. I know. <laughs> we never have and paper how towels. We're, how we're not able water. to even <laughs> pull a rack like this off. I'll get it. We just are really behind. All right, we're here. Hands are clean. All right. Cleanest they've ever been. Buddy. No goofing around right now. 
No, no. <laughs> no exactly. Especially these two. So these are 80s. We're putting 80,000 guests on okay. that. Okay. These okay. crush into the head, is that mm -hmm. the receiver mm -hmm. groove right there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The head's got an O ring on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. All right. So just slide these on. Okay. Steady. Steady. Clean. Don't want to bend it. Don't want to bend it. Easy. It'll bend itself back out. It's probably pretty forgiving. Is that accurate? It is. Yeah. It's pretty solid. Yeah. There we go. Clean. Jack can't hit that one. Clean. <laughs> hey, don't get your fingerprints on that. Grabs it right by. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's nice? see the way to work on these in the field. You don't have to worry about water leaking. This will be our first ever engine we've had that has no water jackets, right? Dry. Have we ever had a dry deck deal? No. Okay. Ready for a cylinder head? Cylinder heads? Do we need to wipe this off since I set it on the table or anything? So what do you say? It was numbered? One, three, five, seven. Set on the be a driver's table. side head. There you go. He's got two, four, six, eight. Man. None of that weird Ready? one, two, three, four stuff. Are we ready? Two, four, six, eight over here. You know what I'm feeling right now? Hammy yeah, Brothers. Yeah, I'm going to lower it. Yeah, I'm so nervous. <laughs> Next time we'll That's be it? in the car. <laughs> okay. Jack's can't hit yours, buddy. Look at that the unit. The are so cool. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can see the entire valve from the top. There you go. Front down a little. Back's perfect. There you go. There you go. Oh. Little now JB Weld in there. Let's see how many jiggle around there. Yeah, jiggle. Smack it with your hand. We're not JB Welding this one, Jack. That baby <laughs> fits perfectly. All right. Like a glove. What's <laughs> next? Headnuts. All your headnuts are right there. Oh, okay. Ready, ready to go. So we got some big ones. The upper row gets the washers and the big nuts. The lower row gets these, and these are your corners. Okay. So washers on the top row, James. Yeah. You got the peanut butter on there. Yep. All right. Washing these big dogs up. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, boys. There's no okay. silicone on the intake. It's all over the whole way. Yeah. It'll get a piece of foam, and it'll be just a corner bead of silicone. That's all it'll have. That way. If you need to pull the heads off at the track, you don't even have to take the intake off. What? Yeah. You just loosen okay. everything up, take these bolts out of the intake, and you'll be able to pull the pull heads off. Oh, it'll slide out under the Wow. Intake. That way you don't have to take the fuel system loose and your charge pipes. And all so if you're stuff. in between rounds and you're in a hurry, yeah. you need to rip a head for a the early wow. Hemis, The early Hemis had a reverse head stud that went into the valley, and you had to pull the intake off to get those nuts yeah. off. How's it going, Jackson? Everything, everything fits. Everything fits like it should. We right? <laughs> if you guys get confused, tight, just look at the tight. picture over there. Tight, that's what that's what that's there for. Double hug of Douglas. Yep. This is wild, dude. <laughs> I am I am not qualified to be working on this still. Put that middle one again. There you go, Jack Sam. Couple hug of Douglas, please. Man, I didn't see this coming. Be honest. Your bottom row here, these nuts. No washers. No washers. So this is normal at the drag for that stand. You know, with the Malasses, he's swapping heads That's right. every round. <laughs> Not every. Every other. I mean, you know, everything's so big on this engine, it almost makes it easier. Like, you have so a lot of room. Yeah. I mean, this is twice the size of the heads we normally use. So. That's a big motor. How are you feeling about like this situation that. right now, buddy? <laughs> I don't know. It kind of doesn't feel real. Yeah. doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel real that we'd ever, you know, just have an engine like this. I'm going to change my Facebook job to engine builder or pro line. <laughs> oh, I'm definitely doing that. <laughs> Same thing inside out. Yes, sir. Hey, Jack's <laughs> <laughs> Crazy to think this is the same engine that's in our Chrysler 300. I know. Yeah. A hammy. A hammy. Yeah. Same thing right, I was Sam? thinking. You got him spherical headed thing right there. It's going great. There you go. Haven't cross threaded nothing. You know? <laughs> well, leaps ahead of a normal engine assembly at our shop. Time to torque them. 
Yeah, you torque these heads down to on the big Did you, did you eat your weighties this morning? I ate my weighties. Really? Okay. What's the number? 220 on the upper row. 220 on the head studs. Holy smokes. 220. <laughs> You're going to see me out there like No this. way. <laughs> 220. That's a lot. That's awesome. That's for holding some compression. Yeah, you ain't power. So horsepower. What's the usual maneuver to get this thing to sit still? Usually one person on each end of it. Yeah. Okay. So what we do, we start at 70 foot pounds. Hit all five. Yep. Work starting in the center, working your way out. And then come and back. And then do and then do the lower row. Okay. And then we'll go straight to 220 on the upper row, straight to 150 <laughs> on the lower row. All right. <laughs> so we gotta all, all right. these. Next thing you get there. Yeah. 70, 70 ain't bad. bad. 70 ain't bad. 340 years. Oh, jeez, oh, dude. Right, easy, oh, jeez. Everyone's cringing right now. Brand new nut about roll it over. So now I'm just doing the bottom one to 70 again. Yes, sir. That's the one I just got. Unless it's bigger. I think that one is a little longer than the ones we got shot. So you don't even worry much about the uh, head gasket because it just gets so crushed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't be confused by each other's beeps now. I'm not. We're good. All right. 220, eh? Phew! All right, Jackson. Yeah, you know, better, you better better that now. Now. Go to that side, yeah, Dan. You, you saw it going 220, right? Mm -hmm. You guys bumping torque wrenches bumping over here? Wrenches in it. Golly. Okay, get punched in the face. Oh, you guys' it. communication skills all right, right now. All right, all right. Oh. Here we go. Here we and go. Down and row. And row. There we go. <laughs> That's what it's row. supposed to look like. Oh, my lantern. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. Let me get on mine good. All right, ready? Yeah. And row. Oh, Golly, guys. <laughs> you get $3,000 in torque wrenches here. <laughs> You're smacking them together. <laughs> there we go. You got a rip on that thing. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are moving. You guys are moving. There we go. <laughs> one more. I'm breaking a sweat. Hey, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a little easier when it's bolted into a car. Oh, okay. Once we do it, then we'll just go to the time real quick before we do the bottom. There you go, Skipper. I'd say she's Hammy Brothers. A real Hammy Brother right now. I know it. Well, it feels like nothing after that road. <laughs> yeah. That's a big jump. Clean. I like the form. This is still a lot. There's more of those, so it's just tiring. Look at this paparuski here. See the sweat beads. <laughs> I'm telling you, this ain't no small task. Just think, we're gonna have to be doing this in the shop with no AC. <laughs> Come on, guys. If you had to bring that up, it does feel really good in here. See this engine right here? Deserves this could have paid for a whole air conditioning. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna let right, Zach hit the 50 guys. pounders. Hopefully he doesn't pull his back. Dude, that 220 is an arm pump. That's a lot of clamping force. At least it's like a super simple technique though, you know? Yeah, it's not bad, bad at all. You can't forget that. Plus we got it on video. <laughs> 220, 150, 50. Whoa. Easy, bud. Easy. I'm over to it. That's why. 50.6. You got over, me. Over over. Hit that, Sam. Sam, if it's not dead nuts on there. Oh, you're done. You're done. Steady. Easy, Sam. Don't you go over. Steady. Steady. Don't you go over. And. He is not going over. What do you get? <laughs> Dead oh, nuts on the money. <laughs> Dude, get your paws off of What are you doing? What? I'm disgusting. You're embarrassing me in front of these guys right now. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be jumping. Don't be jumping steps over here. I already know what's going on in your little head. Check out this valve cover. 
That's a big unit right there. That's and it's a clean. hell of a belt. And it's nice. Third round of 220s to yep. double, triple check yeah. this baby. We're letting Zach get in on that too. Whoa. That, whoa. All right. They go back home. The big bill it stands. Fiber on. Man, that's a, that's a hell of a stand right there. Yeah. It's a big chunk of hell of a stand. Years on, Jack Stan. Yep. Ooh, buddy, okay. that's nice. That should be that's nice. Amy Brothers. Right I'll make a mess out of them now. You need that lube on there for your torque spec. Now. I know, I know. I know what I'm doing. Torque. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. I know you do. You're a Hemi brother. You were born with it, just like me. Hemi but brother, still. yeah. It ain't really lifestyle. I chose. It chose me. Yeah, I heard that. Didn't know it until that price was three hundred. Man, a lot of impacting going on here. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Well, it's like how you get the bolt seated, and then, or not seated. Yeah. And then. yeah, I mean, I love it. Their core things are so high, they I know. Doesn't use make an impact to get things going. <laughs> you keep going. You Man, this is a breeze. <laughs> 78 nothing anymore. Yeah. I was trying to keep track of all the ones I hit. Oh, straight through the middle first, huh? That's what I said. Nice. Keep it said super simple. Push rods are next. Does yep. it matter which side? They're all in there. Oh, they are. They're all, they're all in there. I better only grab two at a time, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got one exhaust, two exhaust. Yeah, you take that them. one. <laughs> There's four exhaust. Don't grab my push rod, Jack Stan. <laughs> Six <laughs> exhaust. <laughs> They're labeled. Eight, eight exhaust. Eight. That's precision when you got a label. Yeah, that's pretty. Uh, pretty nice. Oh, they're cutting mm -hmm. our O-rings here. Cleaning us up, looking good. Exhaust on her. Yeah, there you go. I'm just there we scared go. I'm on the jet, and I got the right side. Yep, yep, yep. Wait a second. Wait a second. Eight. Is that eight? Yeah, that's eight. Yep, okay. that's eight. A lot going on here, dude. Six exhaust. Intake, Jamie. Eight intake. Don't drop one, whatever you do. I'm just, yeah, I'm trying not to, Mr. Drop a piston and rod. Well, that cost us five grand. <laughs> that was an accident. Okay. I don't know who pre oiled that thing. Push rod, yep. Is, uh, yeah, they do. That's so sick. Hell yeah. You want rockers now? Yes, sir. Dude, okay. this what? is looking oh, good. Oh, yeah. Eight, seven, eight. So, which one's which? Is there, do you do one before the other? Uh, we actually, we'll do them in fire and order, and we'll do them both at the same time. Oh, and then adjust them as you go. Uh, Makes like, sense. So grab yeah, both eights for everything. Yeah. 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 What we do is we do we get well, I mean, one yeah, eight. Yeah, 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 number do eight intake is all the way closed. Yeah. There you go. You'll be able to do intake okay. and exhaust, intake and exhaust. On eight. And that's mm -hmm. Okay. So imagine this yeah. one goes here. Flip the rail. Flip your shaft or something. Round side oh. down. Yeah. Good thing you guys are clean, today, you know. <laughs> yeah, appreciate your guidance. All right, this guy to be moved that upside down. Yeah, round side down. down. Yeah. Round is down. Look so at that. On the push rod. Perfect on the fit. bow. Okay. And be sure you're. Be sure it's in the cup. On the push rod. Oh man. Yeah. Now yeah, she's sitting down in there. Okay. Okay. What are we doing next? We need to get the nuts on these. Yeah, they should be already Get your nuts there. on there. Right there. Yeah, let me grab my nuts real quick. Yep. Four of them. You know what they say with, you know, engine building. Keep your 10 nuts. 10% of it's the prep, 90% is the assembly. That's right. Know? Yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're good. Yeah, they're good. And now what we'll do is you take up any slack. Just take up the slack. Yeah. Kind of zero lash it. Mm hmm. Yeah. 
James Goop? We missed one. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. We'll come back. Three on five and five on three. Oh, Good time to catch it. See, all this screwing around. What was rule number one when we came here? No screwing around. We're out here cracking jokes. All right, all right. I was cracking jokes. You guys, that was a test to where you guys could pay attention in the heat of things. So you're welcome. Wait, what is the firing order? 1872-6543. He told me on the phone you can rev these 10,000. Yeah. So we'll set our limiter at 11. <laughs> 10,000 RPM. You well, know they just tell you that to keep it safe. This big of an engine. Yeah. I mean, if the manufacturer is saying 10,000, you know the real number is in the 12. Yeah. All right. We were just talking while we're wrapping it up. How many runs do we get on this thing before we got to service it? Who's tuning them? <laughs> Not me. <laughs> A professional tuner. <laughs> um, depending on how far you go, eighth or quarter, but like if you make hard eight quarter mile runs, quarter mile runs um, how, I don't how, think we'll be at the limit of what right. motor makes. I would say 25 to 30 runs before you put rods in it. You do rods. Yeah. How much is a set of rods? A set of rods with the right bolts and stuff you need to make this kind of power, they run up just under $2,000. Okay. Per rod or? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, yeah, one day, yeah, yeah, you got to pay it. So uh, two grand uh, for a set of rods. Yeah, two grand for And then rods. we just can swap it out at our shop. Yep. Yeah, and the pistons will hold up fine. Yeah, like you, you just kind of keep an eye on them. Now, what um, if you do a burnout, pull hmm. up to the line, Go 3:30 and knock the tires off. That you count that you count as a run. Yeah. Woo. What if yep. you knock the tires off on the starting line? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd say that's not a run. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. About, it depends on how high you run. Yeah. It's about a two-step check. Yeah. No. Oh man, because we love doing two-step checks. <laughs> all right. All right. Let me ask you this: How high should we rev it regularly? I know you said 10,000 is like leaning on it. Yeah, you, you, you can take it up to 10,000, but I think for what you're gonna be doing, if you can live in that high eight to low nine range, you're gonna get a lot more life out of everything. So okay. if, you came, if you came back and said, man, we're not even, to do what we wanna do, we're not even spending this thing over nine grand, you might put 35 to 40 runs on it. Oh, okay. It's all, oh. RPM's really a killer. Yeah, I don't think we'll have to go over nine. No. We're doing. Yeah. I don't know, it depends on our rear gear and all that. So. Maybe a couple times here and there, you know? To give you an idea, like on the 41s back in the day, we'd go 40 when we made big boost. But yeah. then a pro charge guy, he, um, he put it in the dragster and he kept running and running. Every year we get it back, he's like, I put 75 on it, I put 125 on it, I put 150 on it. And we're like, with aluminum rotted 41. Yeah. So it just, he only turned it 8200 and put 150 runs. So if the RPM's down, you can. Okay, you so can, it's just kind of an insurance thing though to do yep. the rod. Oh, it is. Is it a $2,000 repair or a $30,000? The other day repair. we figured one repair for a client, he could have bought 19 sets of rods for one one failure yeah so wow yeah rods are cheap insurance well worth it so you yeah. guys are gonna have to hold me to this run count yeah because really you're gonna it. be like it's uh, fine i'll let you talk me into it you gotta do it and it's you guys can do it right there at the shop manifold can stay on these slide the heads off um we yeah, like it's crazy yeah it's 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 they're very easy to work on as you can see you guys are getting the rundown but yeah they're going great yep yeah, they're made to service okay all right so what's next you guys are doing priming it is that yeah. well, right. Valve yeah, lash. Six thou. Six thou. Valve lash. Doesn't seem. I guess this thing else. probably grows a ton when it gets heat in it. So Zach's in charge of lashing valve. <laughs> Eagle smoker. <laughs> what you guys might not know is taking the cylinder heads off of a car like Mullet. I'd say 75% of the work is just taking the intake off. Yeah. The fact that you can leave it on and pop off the head, that's just crazy. Built to be worked on. The science that must have gone into that. Yeah. Zach, I mean, you should have seen Zach's face when he heard that. He about lit up like it was the day he got married. <laughs> you believe that, dude? You don't have to pull the intake. It's crazy. I mean, you just literally take both heads and let it sit right here, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crazy. It's going to save a lot of time on the fuel system. <laughs> wow, oh, the back room. Oh, shoot. He's going to show us a uh, pro mod with the cylinder head off and the intake. Just off. in case you're wondering, this is for sale. <laughs> this is what I was going. He's already got the head back on there, but as you see, all, oh, he okay. left all this on there, wiring harness, everything. Nothing. So all Chris did was valve cover off, rock arm assembly off. See, because I was wondering, I'm like, how do these guys get the heads off every, you know, little yeah. issue? But they can leave everything hooked up intact. You just can pull the head. Need to get you one of these things to sit on, put the tools on there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We get yeah, one we, of these. We sell those. We sell those. Sell, sell it. Oh man! Come Doesn't on. one come where, with it? Where do you keep them? So we just know. Someone told us that one came with. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we were told to get a free one with the engine. <laughs> Here's one with the heads off. Right? Oh wow! Both heads off. So, the intake's just chilling. 
Whoa. Wait, who makes oh, these? Oh, she's cleaned out. Frankenstein. Oh, it's a Frankenstein intake. I didn't even realize. Oh, boy. We're running Frankenstein intakes forever. So you just yank the whole head out right from under the intake. So and all your fuel system wiring, everything can stay on the car. Genius. Getting ready to prime this baby with some oil pressure. Take some precautions so it don't leak on the floor. Man, this is legit like top fuel team style oil in it now. Holding it right in the valley, dude. Yeah, testing her out. Got the gauge hooked up. 170 PSI. What? On the high side, he said. On the high side. On the stain, dude. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, the honey. Motor honey right there. Said, well, we run in our shop already. LAT. So we're about to prime this thing. That'll allow us to make sure everything's oiling properly. We're going to see these little squirters in the head, which is cool. This is the way to do it. Is that your favorite section right there? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it drains back the fastest. Okay. <laughs> well, we try to not flood the the trays around the lifters that way we can see if a lifter bushing might have too much clearance it's letting too much oil pipe oh very smart yeah same thing i was thinking yeah 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 <laughs> good thing Zach. i was thinking i would have just dumped it all over That's keep it I lubed up done. but it ain't going to be spinning so it makes a lot of sense <laughs> <laughs> i could tell that was a pity laugh like you guys think yeah. we're idiots yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 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 So much to do with the You're getting easier? Yeah. 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 Oh, boy. Right, so we're at 150 right there on the road. I'm going to leave it right there, you think? Yeah. <laughs> That's some oil pressure right here. All right. It's about 180 in high. Dude, that drill needs to be Yeah, this drill won't mess around. Now you know oil really came cool. through the rocker like that. Yeah, I know. That's pretty sweet. Yeah, how does it get the oil to the shafts or a hole in the bottom of the... It comes up through the push rod. Oh, that, okay, so it comes up through the push through rod. Through the push rod, through the adjuster, oh. through the rocker. Yeah, and then, comes and then out the sides of the rocker. Whoa, that's pretty sweet. Intake? I have a wait for this moment. I know. Yeah. Let me grab it. I think your foamies are right there, maybe. Uh, oh, these are for the uh, valley? So we just run a little, a little bit down the town rail here. Um, yeah. Phew. Go. Got her straight. You got that, Jackson? Yep. Oh, mine's straight as narrow. There you go. Be careful now. It's very, very expensive. Grab <laughs> <laughs> the front of that for a second. Yeah, Which a two man? That's I feel like. Yeah. yeah. I'm so excited. You got the billet straps. Those are so the she don't exploders. <laughs> Yeah. Then you don't have to pick up your lid. Yeah, you just get a little hole in yeah, the hood. There goes a thousand <laughs> foot in the air. All right. All right, boys. Don't mess this up, Jackson. Don't mess up your <laughs> weather stripping now. I'm looking good back here. Whee! <laughs> Dang. That's an engine right there. We lined up. Yeah, go, yeah, go back. Make sure the phone's on edge. Sometimes the phone will want to push out from underneath. Pick it up and go back like a... 16, 30, 30. Oh, there it goes. James side uh, sunk down pretty good. You ain't hung up on nothing it's back there, the right? It's just the phone. It's just the phone. Okay. Yeah. You, uh, I locked out these babies. What's name? I see them. I see them. I see them. I'm sure already, on already on them. Golly. Preparation. That's Second to none. I, I, I don't think this motor is going to get locked. Hell yeah. 
We're just knocking this baby out. I know. This you is going really good. one of these this fast? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> We're setting records already with this engine. You are. It's not even done. It's rules. almost like somebody prepped this for you. <laughs> <laughs> you think? It's almost like somebody <laughs> moved up every nut and bolt. Should I put the first scratch on the intake now, or do you guys want to wait until later? Well, uh, yeah. usually, don't you blame us for it? Usually, James is the first person to scratch. <laughs> I got a scratch. Take. Yeah, we'll let you put a little yeah, scratch on. Yeah. I already dropped one of your pistons. <laughs> yeah, George already threw the piston around. There goes our spare set. <laughs> we had spares, but we threw them on the floor. Please. You know what I mean? Just a good old I mean, accidental type scratch. Yeah. No. Fall down while running with your scissors, scratch your belly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Sam, whatever they do, you got to be able to buff out. Oh, be buffed out. You ain't buffing out through the anodized, I tell you that. That's a big intake, dude. Everything's so nice, like, it just has a straight shot for the, the extension and the socket. Yeah. Like, it's not... You're not putting no swivel on that rig. Yeah, you don't have to have a <laughs> swivel and, you know, three special tools to yeah. do it. Well, these three bolts, you need a wrench. On this one, you need an extension. That's why every, exactly. time, we go, that's why every time we go out of town, you know, I'm like, man, I got to bring all my specialty yeah. stuff. Yeah, this you need a box of <laughs> and a torque wrench. Exactly. What do you think, George? Just right here. I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking up top. Let me get you a I got this. Are you for real about to scratch it? I got to scratch it. Yeah. Yeah. Scratch if we scratch it now, you guys won't hurt it. If I don't scratch it, James will scratch it first. Oh, like, <laughs> and then you'll be mad about it. And then I'll be upset. What about so right here? Just right here on the corner. Somewhat? Ah, oh, dude. Make sure it's deep enough to not. There, I got there it is. You really want to do that. That's, that's very. Nice. Look at that, Dak. Now we don't have that's to worry it. about it happening. I don't want to look at it. Now, yeah, now yeah. we don't have to. Now, about about you know, exactly. now you own it. It already happened. Now you own it. <laughs> you know what? We don't want this one in scratch time. <laughs> Should we tell Eric that it takes scratch? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, hey, let's wipe the fingerprints yeah, off of it. Wait till you're completely done and say, man, look at this. Why did you give us this intake? <laughs> Scratching down. A little discount. You got a scratch on this? It's like a warped piece of wood when you're at home depot. Yeah, I mean, come on. I expect more out of Proline than this. <laughs> <laughs> now, did I see valve cover grabber 9000s over yeah, here? Yeah, right there in the corner. Can I open this? Yeah, they're yours. They're yours. You see these, Jackson? He said when you're taking it apart, you're going to pretty much need those sometimes. When you're pulling it apart, huh? That valve yeah. cover's hot. Oh, it's pulling it hot. So just that slide this in here. He said they'll get super stuck on you because they fit so good. These are light. Yeah. Really? Right. I mean, that's the right direction. You go forward usually. You got it. Don't, don't bust your over. Wait, do we have to lube this up or anything for the over? Uh, you just got to spit on that thing. Hot. <laughs> 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 I've never put on a heavy valve cover, make sure I'm lined up. Oh, oh that's a cut over. I heard it. No shot, dude. <laughs> Come on. Look at that, dude. Just pop your handles out, grab this the next is, one. The design. Genius. Is like next level. Everything. Look at that. Perfect, dude. Shoop. Perfect. Wow. All right, look at our cart now. Dude. Awesome. Our cart. Look at your sink. motor now. All we got left on the cart is a cam sink, a starter. And some plans just for the exhaust. All the important stuff's on it. Is this thing done? Are we ready? Yes, sir. What else is after this for you guys? Do yeah, camp sink? we'll do the camp sink. Um, smoke it. Smoke, we'll smoke it. Oh, for boost leaks? Sure, well, any kind of leak. Any leak? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Wow. And so the, you actually shove the engine full of smoke and just look if any comes out. Yep. Wow. All right, Fire well, thank you, guys. Appreciate sure. all the help and um, yeah. teaching us, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yes, Hopefully, sir. we don't have to use our knowledge much that you taught us today. Besides doing rods. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. That's fair. All right, brother, we got to put together if you want to give it a quick inspection. <laughs> I'm sure if these boys are with you, you're good to go. Yeah, <laughs> we taught them as much as we could. It was good. Oh, one thing I want to ask you about, there is a scratch on this intake. Can we get a little discount? Yeah. See this? Yeah, we can work on that. Yeah, did you do that before I came in here? Is that that piston? Did it bounce up? I might have done that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I figured it's going to get scratched. I wanted to make sure it was me. Be the first one. Yeah, man. Well, thanks a lot. Hey, man, we're really thank excited you. to we're work excited. with you guys. It's going to be awesome.
hopefully uh, she wins us some races and we don't tear it up too bad. All right, guys, we're heading out to Pro Line. Got this baby put together. It's ready. Hit the key. Doesn't feel real we got a Pro Line motor in the shop. Yeah. We got to stay up on our maintenance. <laughs> this is a maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. Are who's, you going to have some rods in your hand? Who's keeping track of the runs? That right here. You just sharpen it. Yeah, I think you have right a sharpie system you, on the you, car. Scratch it in the intake. Every that, no scratches. No more scratches. This is crazy. So this is 100% thanks to you guys watching and repping our merch and just being a part of the channel and uh, enjoying all this racing and crazy stuff we do. Thank you guys so much. And we're really proud to be working with ProLine, one of the top companies in the world for this stuff, especially Hemi's. That's right. And uh, just feels surreal, you know? So thank you guys. And we're excited to get this motor over to Cameron Johnson Race Cars, put it in Eagle, and we'll be racing soon. But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.